welcome back to the 300ZX project and here we are back in Glenn's garage and a package has arrived. This is the carpet. This is the new carpet to go in the car. So today's video we're gonna get the old one out and see how it goes installing a brand new carpet. All right, so I mean to get the carpet out obviously a fair bit of the interior has got to come out. Um, now I've got the back apart because I've restored everything. Um, the back cargo area carpet, uh, there's a video on my channel how to remove that because it clips in around the, the storage bin here that normally sits in here. Um, so that's relatively easy to get out. Um, I'm going to say you may or may not have to remove the wheel arch trim here because this carpet tucks up under it quite well and you know I suspect the new park carpet's going to be quite stiff and I'm not sure how well it will bend and go up under there uh, so I've just left it off I'm not putting it back in until it's done I cannot definitively say that you can't you have to remove that to change the carpet but to me it makes it a lot easier uh, seat belts need to be removed of course seats obviously I mean there's videos for that as well. These are complex, four bolts and a plug. Um, the console has to come out. <clears throat> and if you've got uh, the amp type stuff down here, and I I don't know if all the cars have this, but if you do, that's obviously got to be removed as well. So fair bit of disassembly. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to get off are these uh, door sill clips that are on here. Um, they just snap over the the pinch weld flange here. All right, so these are off on both sides now. There are also a couple of push clips on this one here that go into the sill, which should make positioning that that much more important, I guess. Um, all the amp stuff is out. Um, all right, so there are also two metal, I, don't know, I guess you'd call them a washer, that are screwed to this cross rail here um, that are actually attached to the carpet. I have no idea how right now. Um, so there's a Phillips, need a Phillips screwdriver. I guess that's going to be a good luck if you've got a lot of rust. Um, but we're going to try and get those out. I don't think we've got too big a rust problem. So. All right, so this little bracket here, it looks like two bolts, well, got a 10 mil socket, is over the carpet. So that's gonna have to come off. I don't think there's one on the passenger side. Doesn't look to be. Oh, that has to come off too. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's a push pin here up on the back of the tunnel. You've got to release as well. Carpets out. I I'm amazed at how absolutely rust free these are. That's insane. Thirty eight year old car to be this solid. All right, there it is out. Um, it's going to hopefully going to be the perfect template. Okay, so there's a new one out of the bag. There's the old one. We've got insulation, sound deadening, whatever. Cut drops down in both on the floorboards and I guess across the back, I'm assuming. All right, I've managed to get the old carpet sitting effectively in the new carpet. Um, it's a good fit. Um, we've got extra, of course, around here, all across the, the front here. That'll have to be trimmed off in the car. At the back, um, I've tried to get it centered as, as good as I can. I think I've got it basically centered here. Um, I like they actually finished this off nicer than the factory did, which is really nice. Um, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by cutting these slots here. Um, I've got a piece of two by two sitting under under here right now. Um, so I can, it's sort of helping create what would be that cross member. These ones from the factory come with uh, these attached and there's uh, a plastic underneath. Uh, that's not on the reproduction one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold these tabs over and I will place these in, in place in the car and then bolt it down. So it's still given the washer, still holding down the carpet. It's just a little more manual work for me that the factory wouldn't want. Uh, I'll paint them up, of course. Oh, and cut out for the handbrake as well there. So that's actually the first thing you have to feed over when you get this in is over the handbrake. Um, but yeah, I love the color. Well pleased so far. It seems to be the right carpet, certainly the right shape. Um, I should point out, anyone who is interested, um, I ordered it from NOS Reproductions in Grand Bend, Ontario. Um, they're dealers for these uh, auto custom carpets. And um, guy was great to work with. Um, and yeah, it's come through quick. It got shipped out about four weeks, I guess, from being, you know, me placing the order to it, showing up on my doorstep. So I don't think that's too bad for custom made product like this. Um, I said, he had, they had the burgundy. That's a nice color match. So, okay. So I have all the cuts done. So I have the openings that need to be done. I have cut right through the center here. I've opened this up a little bit around the the shifter and the the uh, console brackets. Um, that cuts in there. I've trimmed all these edges to match as far as a cell. So from there, um, so I think that's it. What I got to do now, I got to do, <laughs> he says, been thinking, I still got to cut where the um, the hatch and fuel lid release goes. All right, so what I'm doing now is putting the, the holes in into the carpet. Um, I'm trying the, the method where you take an old socket, you heat it up with a, your propane torch, and then you melt through and it and it works there's not only they cut through but they it welds all the the ends so there's no fraying so it's actually working quite well it's just trying to get enough heat kept in this so you got to just keep going at it but um it is working i picked this like i got three different socket sizes to do all the holes here so i'm just going to carry on doing this now and Perfect. This works. All right, so we're done. We've burned all the holes in where I hope they're in the right place, at least close. I have uh, laid the insulation they sent in here. Um, so we're gonna try and see if this, try and see if this fits.
Okay, so here's a bit of an update. We're still in process here, but um, I let it sit for a day, let gravity kind of help do its thing, and then I've finished trimming up uh, around the console and all that area back under there. Um, and yeah, all around here has been done now. Um, so for the most part, it's actually laying quite well. Um, this, of course, has gets attached up here as we go along. There's still a push clip to go in there, things like that. Oh, you can see uh, for the most part, uh, the holes worked out. Um, they line up. I mean, you can see the holes there, there, there. Um, these here. This one down there. You can see the stud there on that one. So it's, uh, for the most part, it worked out quite well. Um, some fiddling to do still, um, but we are getting there. Uh, I've got to trim up around the the console there now. And um, what I did is, as I started to place it, I sort of put some bolts in place to try and hold it. I've had the seat belts attached once to make sure that fit. And I sort of centered it up with this trimmed section on both sides here so it it seems like it's it's working quite well it's laying down quite nicely and i'm sure it'll settle further as we uh continue with it i'm gonna have to start doing the uh clips on the side here now and take those off the old one uh there's a velcro strap if you will that attaches across there so i've taken that off and put it on here and that holds the the two flaps under there and so that's, yes, yeah, it's, it's genuinely working quite well here. So I think um, my next step, I think I'm going to, I'm going to lift this, lift this up and work my way back here. There's a few spots where I'm going to put some glue down, some adhesive to help hold it. Uh, certainly this, this back wall, I'm going to glue that on once I get it in place. Um, I've got to trim there. Um, and then it's a matter, I think, of fastening it down, and then we'll start putting the clips in. Okay, so well, here's where we are. Um, this is actually a couple of days later now. Um, it's taken a lot longer than I thought to finesse this into shape to try and get it to look as near to the original one as possible. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm almost done, at least as far as I can do it. The, um, I tried using these clips that came from the original that clip over this flange here. Um, but I found first off, this had opened up, so they weren't retaining anywhere near as well as they, they did originally. And I could not get them to staple and stay on very well at all. So I gave up with those. And I've just used a, a decent contact cement. So this is all glued to the sill here now. Just just this local area. Um, but it is taking its shape quite nicely. Uh, I've got to do the, the back section now. And again, I think I'm going to just put a little glue up at the, the top here just to bring that up into place and hold it so that I can uh, when I put the bin in the storage bin in the screws can go in here and it'll stay in place all right I think I have the carpet basically done um, been a lot of work there but it has laid down in there really nice so I'm just putting tr trim together now which is just the reverse of taking it all apart and I just do it in the reverse order so we've got all the trim here Back in place, got a couple of clips still to put in, a couple of screws here to put in, but. All right, so I'm getting the passenger side's done. We're getting, trying to get the driver's side together. I'd say one of the more challenging parts of this is taking it apart relatively easy. But when you're putting it back together, I found I'm having to replace all kinds of fasteners that were just missing. So it's been a bit of a challenge to 
get all the fasteners and all the right color fasteners and everything else here, but I do believe we've got that now. Um, I'm just gonna put the quarter window trim up here and I just wanted to show something. Um, there are these three little clips here that slide up, oh, where are we? Slide up into these. And they're heat staked on, so they, they mold a plastic pin and then they put this on and they, they come down with a little heated element and they flares it out. Now two of these had come off, this one and this one, and two had come off on the other side as well. So I fixed those and they, they've worked. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done. I've super glued these in and then what I did is I took my soldering gun here and I re-melted these, what was left of them. And I've melted them and then I would have blended them over to help hold it. And it's, it's it worked on the one side, it seems to work, it holds them, keeps them back in place. So it's just a little trick, I guess. All right, so we've got trim in on both sides. So the trim's in, speaker's in. Uh, just gonna get into putting the bin in. And again, there's nothing special here. There's four screws across the uh, the front and then it's sandwiched or held at the back with the hinges for the cover, which is over there and next to go in. Um, I just marked where the holes are in the sheet metal here in the carpet because obviously the carpet's new, doesn't have any holes here yet for the screws to go through. So I've marked that and I've poked a hole through each place into the into the sheet metal already. And uh, that should be a simple install. The only thing I wanted to show here, I'm sure a lot of people probably have this problem that these little wings up the side here get broken. They snap. And I'm assuming it's people put too much weight in or they leaned in it to get something. Anyway, they were broken on both sides. So all I did, um, I took some rigid plastic here and I've epoxied it into place, clamped it. So it's held it back in place now again if you you know if you lean on it it will break again but you know, know about the problem be careful i think that's uh kept it together pretty decently um allowed me to use these again so we'll get that in we'll get the lid on and then finally we can get on to getting the uh, rear carpet in there the last piece of carpeting um cargo area so what obviously I guess, but that's the new one. I literally just unrolled it there. And this is the old one that I kept around for reference. So a couple of things point out. Um, these clips obviously didn't come with the new one. Um, they were glued. So I, I've unglued one. They were glued on here. So what I think I'm gonna do once I get it positioned, and I get all the front clips and everything else. I'm gonna clip these in place and then glue them down so I've got the position right. And I will see, I guess we'll see how well they glue this. So this is from the factory, what it looks like where the uh, the cargo straps or T-bar, T-roof straps come through. Um, and I don't know how these are done. Uh, they're fused in here, They're they're not, if there's something they're added, they're added with heat because they're they're fused in place there. So there's there's no option for me to remove these and, and put them onto the new carpet. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, so I guess we're just going to try as carefully as we can to cut some slits in the new carpet. Okay, right, so done first test fit there. Uh, looks to fit really nice, snug up nice to the corners, super pleased. Uh, the one thing I'm going to do, um, they've got the under padding or insulation, whatever you want to call it, right to the edge here. And this is the edge that turns down and clips on the cargo little storage door. Uh, and I want to see this. So I'm gonna cut this back uh, no inch or so and remove that so it's a it folds around the corner nicer and I don't see this on the edge there
Anyway, so there's the old carpet on top of the new one. Um, I have, I have just put some tape down and marked through these slots so I know basically where they, basically where they are. I'm just going to confirm once it's in. I got all the uh, clips in. Well, actually I'm missing one. I didn't realize there were actually six. There were five that came out, so there's one missing. I have no idea how that disappeared, but I'll have to locate one of those. Um, so all I did, I used my pointy screwdriver um, and went through, broke through the backing so I can push those in. Um, same here. Um, I went underneath and I uh, picked the uh, insulation away around there and... Uh, and went in and poked the hole so I could get the screw through to hold the rail in place. Okay, so the cuts for the, the straps, they came up pretty good. I've made them as small as I possibly can. Um, I just positioned them. Again, I picked the insulation away underneath or the padding away underneath and then I cut them with the X-Acto knife. Um, just wide enough so they're a lot smaller than the slots were in the, the OE one but again I'm hand fitting it they're they're not they're on an assembly line so all I did on the speaker covers here I just went down to local fabric land and I picked up some nice stretchy fabric it's pretty close to the right color it's and put them on, refreshing them up no end. Um, if you remember on some of the very early videos, this was like a funny velvety stuff somebody had put on. So um, I didn't have faded to pink white. So that looks like brand new now as well. So it ties in real nice with all the, the refinished trim here. All right, so let's get the console in. For most part, this should be very easy. Um, it's gotta feed the wires up here. The switches. Okay. Get that out of the way. So I'm using this screw here as a guide because it's the easiest one to see. And when that one lines up, the others should should all line up as well. Yeah, so we've got the screws in the console now. Um, I'm just working on putting the switches back into the switch plate. Can't really do the shift boot or the armrest yet because I'm waiting for the leather for the seats to come in. And when it comes in, I have matching cover for this, this, and for the handbrake there. So I really can't complete those until that comes in. It Okay, so we are pretty much done or as far as I can go with this now. Uh, obviously, still have to deal with the steering wheel. And like I said, the leather trim pieces there to finish up the console and somewhat obviously the seats. But carpet is in and the, in, the refurbished, restored interior trim is in. Um, super pleased with the results. It looks, well, it's about as near to new as I can make it in here. Um, but it does look really good. I'm very pleased with how it's come up. So door panels are done as well. Headliner's done. All right, so another job pretty much done. Certainly the carpet stuff is all done, which is was the main part of this, this particular project, that and the reassembly in the cargo area. So all done. Um, and if you're tackling this job, hopefully there's uh, some helpful, useful information here. If nothing else, a heads up on what you're going to get into. Um, if you're looking to take the interior apart, or there are earlier videos that will um, help show how I got the interior apart, clips and screws and stuff like that. So uh, 
as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, um, the usual thing I ask, but it's always appreciated. And uh, I hope I see you back here. So in the meantime, everybody, you have a great day out there.